It's the opening of grouper season, hogfish season. And we are getting started very early. I'm already suited and booted and ready to go spear fishing. I got my son Dante stuff. Look, we're letting him get his last minutes of sleep because it's 3.34 in the morning. But I got his little JBL gun ready to go. You guys are gonna see his video. His mask has the toothpaste already. That's ready to go so he doesn't fog up his little fins. And for you guys, for that content, Shark with CV content, we got our underwater lens on our GoPro. Let me walk you guys through what you want to be eating before you go all day long diving out in the water. I like to go dry foods, vegetables, fruits, nothing saucy, no chili, no spaghetti. You don't want to eat any picadillo, no ropa vieja, none of that stuff. Nothing with sauce. You don't want any sauce to be regurgitating when you're going up and down 60 times sometimes underwater for a whole minute. So just some dry wheat bread, raw veggies, or fruit. The one exception that you can have is, come over here, and this is a shark and seaweed ritual. Oh! And boomida! Cuban coffee, you need Cuban coffee. And boomida is the cream that, that golden froth that comes to the top of a Cuban coffee. And I save so much money just whipping and making my own Cuban coffee at home. You know how much a Starbucks coffee would be every day? If me and my wife had two Starbucks coffee every day, let's say what, six bucks a coffee, that's 12 bucks. Man, that's 12 times seven days in a week times 365 days in a year. We're saving money and we're drinking Cuban coffee. Follow us out there. It's gonna be beautiful. Hogfish grouper season, sharpen with seaweed. Don't underestimate diving like it's not a sport. You probably utilize more muscles in your body than basketball, football, and many other popular sports. So when you're gonna go diving, get a nice stretch in before you go out there. Stretch your hamstrings, stretch your calves. Legs nice and stretched. You don't want your legs cramping up. Get a nice stretch in when you're going out diving, okay guys? Trust me, you don't want a leg cramp when you're far from the boat.
Yo! When spearfishing, you never want to be in the middle of the water with an unloaded gun for too long. A big bull shark can come by. A big cobia may be curious and come by. A bigger grouper, a mon will swim by. So get, take your fish off the spear and reload as best you can. Hold the fish in one hand and get that gun reloaded.
Talking with.